Brothers and friends, welcome to Wheaton Lodge number 269. Thank you for watching another video from SuccessfulMasons.com, which is brought to you by Wheaton Lodge number 269. My name is Paul Cameron. I'm the current junior warden of Wheaton Lodge, and today I'm recording this video from the north side of our meeting room because today's topic, I am very much in the dark, <laughs> if you follow me there, brothers. Uh, next week, we have our annual Grand Lodge communication meeting coming up where you know over a thousand Masons are going to gather together and this is my very first time going to this meeting. I've never been to one of these before and I'm sure like many of you prior to going to any event or conference or meeting you always try to prepare ahead of time and I always try to prepare in two main areas. Number one is how do I add value to the meeting and to the people that I'm going to be meeting with when I'm down there, just even in, if it's in casual conversations. And secondly, how do I gain value through some of the questions that I'm asking uh, and through very specifically and intentionally looking for certain things and asking about certain things. So rather than trying to reinvent the wheel here, I thought I would just post a very quick video here and ask, you know, I know there's thousands of you who have been to these things before, uh, how do you prepare? for this meeting? Are there certain things that you do to try to make sure you're adding value to the meeting or adding value to the people that you're meeting with for the first time? And, and secondly, are there certain things that you very specifically ask about when you're there? Are there certain questions that you always try to ask year after year? Are there certain people within the fraternity that you try to make a point to meet? Um, maybe certain people in certain offices or, or whatever it happens to be. If you have any information that you can share with us, uh, please post them in the comments below this video. I would sincerely appreciate it. Anything that, you know, maybe even just you wish you knew before you went down there for the first time, that would be a huge help uh, as well. So really would appreciate your comments. If you'd rather not comment below the video, if you just want to shoot me an email, that would be great too. My email address is just paul at successfulmasons.com. Would really appreciate any help and advice that you can share. Secondly, I want to follow up on the video that I posted just five days ago. Uh, we posted a video on how to re-engage inactive members, and it was the start of the conversation. Uh, I shared a few ideas on how we're going to be doing that over the next few months, and then we're going to report back on how it's going. I also asked in that video for some ideas. If, if other brothers around the world, really, would share some ideas, we'd be open to them. We'll try them and report back on how it went, and the response has been, uh, just absolutely amazing, really. Uh, I've had a conversation with uh, a, a guy in London and a guy in Australia and uh, Canada and across the United States as well and Washington and Pennsylvania and uh, Ohio and just all over the place. It's really been tremendous and exciting to talk to so many other brothers that are that share the same enthusiasm for trying to revitalize uh, our fraternity and grow our fraternity instead of just watching the numbers decline as they have been in the recent years. Um, I've got a lot of new ideas. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who responded to that. If you were thinking about responding and you didn't yet or you forgot about it, please send me that email or post in uh, below that video. It's on our YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com slash successful masons. Um, and I'm going to put all these new ideas that I've gotten from everybody in the private blog because I know not everybody wants to air that stuff. Uh, publicly uh, there, but I'm going to put it in the private membership there. So if you do subscribe to our private blog, you're going to see those ideas. I'm just going to add it on to that same topic, uh, a blog that's in there. And then also what's also been sparked from this is just all the best practices because was, there was a lot of things that was, that was way beyond the scope of just re-engaging inactive members. You know, we, we've got best practices on, on how to run lodge meetings and how to attract new members. The, the guy in London, for example, they do something uh, in their province uh, as a whole that they share amongst all the, the lodges in that province that has been specifically responsible for bringing in 120 new members over the last seven years, and there's a 75% retention rate uh, that he said, and he said that's how he came into the fraternity just, uh, um, I forgot how long ago he said it was, four or five years ago, but that's how they found him. Uh, and brought him into the fraternity. So just lots of great ideas. I'm going to be creating an ongoing best practices blog inside, again, inside our private blog, which is the fundraiser for Wheaton Lodge number 269. It's just $5 a month. It's even less than that if you subscribe for an annual plan. And that will go a very, very long way to helping us to get back on our feet here at Wheaton Lodge number 269, as well as to cover the costs of all this stuff that we're doing here, the website and the, these videos, that kind of thing. Um, 
at that time when I posted that video just five days ago, we had two subscribers, one from Oklahoma, one from Minnesota. Now we have four subscribers. We've doubled our subscriber rate, which is awesome. Um, still none from Illinois, though. The two new guys are uh, one's from uh, Washington and the other one is from uh, Canada, Montreal, Canada, Canada. Awesome. Uh, and had a bunch of cool ideas as well. Um, so really appreciate that. What's really interesting is that three of the four of our subscribers are DDGMs. How cool is that? And just the enthusiasm and excitement that they have uh, for the fraternity is, is fantastic. The one who is not a DDGM, our former brother here, Harry, uh, who was the former junior warden, and I mentioned how many people were uh, appreciative and missing his cooking because the new junior warden, uh, me, doesn't know how to cook. Um, he shared a bunch of great recipes with me and, and ways to to put together a meal very quickly uh, when you don't know how to cook, which is, was really helpful, and I appreciate that, Harry. And actually, as I'm saying this out loud right now, uh, obviously this is unscripted here, um, maybe we should do a video on how to prepare a meal for junior wardens who don't know how to cook and share some recipes. Um, I think that's going to be a future video uh, coming up here in the next couple of months. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to that private blog already, we sincerely uh, would really appreciate your, your help. We need 30 subscribers just to break even on the cost of all the stuff we're doing here. And right now we've got four subscribers. So um, any help you can, uh, you can give us would be tremendously appreciated. And don't forget, please, below this video or through an email, Share your ideas on how you prepare for Grand Lodge meetings, uh, and we'll post back, report back after the meeting and let you know how it went. Maybe share some pictures um, and some uh, just interesting stuff that we learned while we're down there. So thanks again for watching and uh, um, for supporting us through this process. Take care, brothers.